Hi there, how's it going? I'm Chris with PearsonCopy.com and I'm here to help your brand make more sales with email. Um, as a part of my 100 emails in 100 day challenge, I'm breaking down emails from brands, uh, e-commerce brands um, that I find online, um, from brands that I shop from, from brands that I find interesting or curious. Um, Today, I'm going to be breaking down a, an email here from Wisdom Panel. Uh, this is one of their welcome emails, and it is a 10% off incentive um, email that they're delivering. Um, but something that I like about Wisdom Panel, what they do with their emails, is they do a lot of features, a lot of benefits, and they do tap into uh, the emotional connection that uh, pet owners like myself do have with their pets. Um, I have actually purchased from Wisdom Panel, so uh, I've been through quite a few of their emails, and this one stuck out um, because it's just recent. and. Um, I wanted to break it down because, like I said, the emotional connection, the features and benefits, them selling their wisdom panel offers. There's two different ones they mentioned in this email. Um, I think they do a great job, and I think that there's a lot to learn from this email. Uh, with that being said, again, this is in a welcome series or one of the welcome emails uh, with that context. Let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, subject line here, uh, take 10% off your dog's DNA test today with a dog emoji. Um, so they have the straight offer, and uh, they have the incentive plus the offer. Right in the subject line, um, I think it's pretty standard. It's either like a welcome to family, welcome to brand, uh, welcome to community, or they do the 10% off or the offer and CTA just right there in the subject line. Uh, so it sticks out in the inbox. Now, I say sticks out in the inbox, but a lot of brands do this type of stuff, so it may not. So that's something to consider, too, is if you're doing this and you're not getting a lot of opens, changing this to something like, do you know who your dog is or do you know what breed your dog is or some kind of question that makes it different than what most brands are doing, which is welcome to community, welcome to brand, welcome to, welcome to et cetera. Um, and then also take 10% off, et cetera, product or get 10% off or welcome, welcome to this. Here's your 10% off code. So they're doing, they're doing some pretty standard generic stuff there. Um, so changing this subject lineup could get them higher opens, which means more clicks and more sales. Uh, next piece here is the from name and from email. Uh, something here that I thought I mean, it's pretty standard. Uh, they do wisdom panel, so that's a brand name. Something here that I thought that was interesting is they have a do not reply at wisdompanel.com. So this is a, you know, part of a, I believe it's part of a welcome series, but yet they don't want their customers to reply to this email. So if anybody has a question and they hit reply and they want to ask a question because they want to buy this, um, they're closing off that conversation, closing out that door. So something I would consider doing or testing is give, give an email that, that people can reply to, have a support desk and get those questions from people and start answering them in the emails. And because when I first bought this, when I bought was panel for my dog, for the dog we rescued, um, I had a ton of questions. Like it took me, it took me like two months before I bought this and I had a ton of questions and I, I wanted, I emailed back and forth with somebody. Um, I did research online. I was just looking through and just really researching what this actually was and what it would do for me. Um, and I'm glad I bought it. But at the end of the day, not being able to reply to emails to ask a question, I think that's a missed opportunity to get information from customers and start conversations that could turn into sales. So, um, as we're scrolling down here, view this email in your browser. So this is great if you're using a lot of design in your emails, having this actually helps because um, email providers could block, uh, distort, remove, or just any other reason to filter out your emails because of the images. Clicking this actually opens a new tab in somebody's browser and they can see your email in its full glory and actually uh, receive the, the, the visual based sales message. Next, we have the logo. Brand logo, brand name. It's clean, it's simple, it's straight across, it's easy to get through. And then you have a um, positive association, just a positive emotion email or uh, image here um, of this person here with the dog. The dog looks like he like it's super happy. Um, this person looks like they're super happy as well. Um, and it just creates a positive association with the brand right after the brand name. Uh, the next here is their tagline, no better, care smarter, live, uh, love longer. Um, those are all the basically outcomes of, of essentially using Wisdom Panel. Um, it's definitely succinct, it's to the point, and people get the idea of what this actually means. No better, so know more about your dog, care smarter, um, be able to care for your dog more effectively, and then love longer, your dog lives longer because you know exactly what breed they are and what kind of health issues they may come around the corner that you can prevent. Um, so not only is Wisdom Panel um, a great product to discover about your dog, but it's also a prevention <clears throat> prevention product to protect your, your pet from future diseases or just know that something's coming so you can prepare for it. Um, and then here, their first like main paragraph of copy here, this is micro copy like headline, but their main like paragraph here, when it comes to your dog's health and happiness, there's always more to know. Wisdom panel tests simplify the science so you can better meet the unique needs of your furry companion. So feature, um, we sent, uh, was a panel, uh, test simplify the science. So that's a feature. So you can better meet the unique needs of your furry companion. That's a benefit. So that's the outcome of, of this simplifying the science. I think it's a great combo. I think dimensionalizing it could go a little further. Like when, when I mentioned the love longer piece is like, um, and once you know more about your dog and you care for them more effectively or whatever that language may be, 
they're going to, they're potentially, they're going to live longer. You can love them longer because they're going to, they're going to have a happier, healthier life. So something just to dimensionalize and put that in there, put that in the customer's life, that image in their head of like playing with your dog in the backyard when it's older. Um, maybe if you have kids that they're growing up with the dog, that dog's going to last longer. So the kids don't get, um, as they, they get the dog in their life longer. Right. So I think they do a good job here with this copy. There is some a little tweak or just test you could probably do with it. Um, and then the coupon code here, welcome, and then a string of characters. Um, like I mentioned before in other videos, I think if they just say wisdom panel 10 or um, dog DNA 10 or something really simple that people can remember, it's going to do better than this code. I'd imagine this is auto applied at checkout, but what if somebody uses a different, like a different device or goes to a friend house or um, orders off a different thing? They, you want them to remember this code, but they can't because it's a random string of characters unless they write it down. So you're adding friction just by just by saying, hey, we're auto-filling your checkout. Go do it. Don't have to worry about it. I would still autofill it, but I'd make it something like welcome, welcome 10 or wisdom panel 10 or uh, dog DNA 10 or something. So no matter what, whether they're on this device or they're on a different one, they can still use that code and, and spend money with you. The most, accurate, the most accurate dog DNA service. So that's a statement, it's a promise. And then they have their two products here, uh, the essential and the premium. Uh, they list out all the things in the essential of all the things that uh, actually accomplishes and achieves. And then they say everything in the wisdom panel essential is in the premium plus some other things here. You can view the rest of the product details here. Um, something that I would consider doing is maybe make, putting a statement here above each of these bullet points just to mention what, like promise what essential is and promise what premium is because there is a difference. There are more things in the premium than there is the essential, uh, but there there could be a copy angle here to get more clicks on this button just by adding a little sentence here of saying, hey, this is what's different about premium. This is what's different about essential. And this is why you should get either one or maybe put a sentence here of like who this is for. Like if you got a new dog and you just want to know exactly what they are, maybe it's a rescue, maybe it's something, whatever, you just need to know, here's what you do. If you want, if you have a family dog and you want to know because of health issues, et cetera, you know, additional health tests, genetic diversity score, and veterinary consult for notable health results. This is like a family dog you want to keep alive longer, do this one. So there's different ways you can say, hey, who this is for and who, which one the customer should buy based on that identifier or factor. And then here they have social proof, over 3 million pets tested. So that's a credibility social proof piece. And then they say, see how wisdom panel insights have maintained the lives of our pet parents. And they show two um, great testimonials here from, from these customers and their dogs, uh, which I think is a great add-on uh, to this email just after the products. A lot of brands miss that. They offer the product and then they don't show social, social proof from their customers of, hey, this stuff actually works, here's how. Um, so I think it's a great move by Wisdom Panel. And then finally, you have your footer. You have your uh, terms, conditions, uh, terms and service, terms, conditions, et cetera, social. Uh, you have your footer information with the address and everything, your update preferences, uh, and unsubscribe from your list. Um, overall, I really like this email. I think that Wisdom Panel, even though they're using a lot of design, actually does a great job here. There are a few things, like I've mentioned in this email, that they could update, tweak, test, change. Uh, there's a lot of things that I did like as well. Uh, but with that being said, please take these insights back to your brand, um, use them, make more sales, and let me know how it goes. Um, otherwise, go check out my other YouTube video or other videos on my YouTube channel where I'm actually doing breakdowns. I'm doing 100 emails in a 100 day challenge. Uh, with that being said, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.